Hi, my name is Amit and I am going to talk about Web Service Provider in Power Center. The agenda of this talk will be a brief introduction to Web Service, creating source and target definitions, creating Web Service mapping, create and configure Web Service workflow, and then finally testing these workflow. Web Service describes a standardized way of integrating web-based applications using XML, SOAP, WSDL and UDDI open standards over an internet protocol backbone. XML is used to tag the data, SOAP is used to transfer the data, WSDL is used for describing the services available and UDDI is used for listing what services are available. Before going to the creation of web services, it is assumed that a web service hub has already been created and is up and running. A web service hub is a UDDI for web services where all power center web services can be listed. A web service hub can be created from Informatica administrator console like other services. For creating a web service source and target definition, open Informatica power center designer tool and go to source analyzer and then click on sources then click on web service provider and finally click on create web service definition it will pop up a window here we can create input ports for web sources and output port for web targets like for addition of two numbers we require two number as input and one number as output the ever will create both source and target for the same service at once I have created this sample mapping. The web service source accepts the SOAP request containing two numbers on which addition will be performed. And this web target creates a SOAP response which contains the result of the addition of those two numbers. Now we will create a workflow from, the, from this mapping. In the Power Center Workflow Manager tool, click on Workflows. Then click on create. Here to make this workflow as a web service we have to select enable button and then this config service will get highlighted. Click on this config service tab. This will display another configuration window for this web service. Here we have to set the web service hub. The web service hub can be selected from the list. This web service hub will also be displayed in the Informatica Administrator console. As we can see that this is the web service hub which we have selected in the workflow manager. Now click on OK. Then we have to select another two options. First one is this visible option. It will make this workflow visible in the web service hub. And the second option is this runnable option. It will make this web service client to start the workflow or to invoke the service even when the workflow is not running. Now click on OK and then again click on OK. Now we have to create a session using the mapping which we have created earlier and then link this session with the start task and finally save this workflow. Now we have to check whether or not this workflow is listed in the web service hub. For this open Informatica administrator console and click on the web service hub. It will display the URL for the web service hub console. Click on that. It will redirect to another window where all the valid web services can be displayed. Here we can see the workflow which we have just created. To test whether this performs properly or not, we have to try this workflow. So click on this try it option and then select the operation. It will ask for two variables on which addition will be performed. When we click on this send button, a SOAP request will be generated containing these two variables and will send to the service. The service will process the request and then finally 
after processing the variables it will create a SOAP response and send it back to, to the client. Here we can see this is the SOAP response sent back by the service and the result of the addition of these two numbers are here. Thus we have successfully created a web service in Power Center. Using these guidelines we can create any other service which can fit our purpose. Thank you.